221B Baker Street. Sherlock Holmes. What do you think happened to him? Sherlock Holmes doesn't exist anymore. This series features Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson, but there are definitely a lot of twists in this show. How is this series different than other Sherlock Holmes stories we've seen before? It's a very different Sherlock story, and it's also a very different Sherlock to what we've seen before. When we come across Sherlock in this series, he's the, at his lowest point. He's a shell of a man that he once was, and he can't solve the mysteries he once could. And that's why Dr. Watson sort of turns to the regulars out of necessity. We, we see obviously a, a different Sherlock, but also a very different Watson. Uh, he kind of takes a more prominent role in terms of he's the one having to go out and figure out how to solve these things and how to make things work without Sherlock's incredible brain. And we do see that iconic Sherlock that we know with flashbacks. We see him at his best with this incredible power of deduction and then which is such a contrast to how we find him. Yeah, I think our Tom Writer is basically given the Sherlock universe a whole set of characters and kind of you know it, it's really exciting to explore that and to kind of think that these kids are the center of it and I think it's it's really exciting to have that supernatural thing as well to give it an extra edge. My business partner and I have been watching you from our apartment on Baker Street. Your sister has a gift. She can see things normal people cannot. Who are the Irregulars and what makes them special? The Irregulars are the are based on the Baker Street Irregulars from the original books, but there's only about four or five lines in the actual text. So we find this little street gang who have all kind of come together. I think that they are kind of unapologetically themselves. I think that's really interesting to watch them delve into the supernatural world and really explore it as people really would. And at times they question it and go, what the hell are we doing? Maybe we should go home. <laughs> Maybe this is too much. And I think that's quite refreshing. I think something I love about the Irregulars is that, you know, they all have flaws. I think that's what makes them so special is that what makes them different makes them fit together so well and work really well as a group. And they're kind of like cogs in a machine. Like they, you know, once they're all put together, they, they it's kind of magic in a way. And I, I really enjoyed playing that on screen. They kind of like, you know, that thing you get sometimes like the cogs where they all fit together and then you turn it. But they all have to yeah. do yeah. up to turn. Them it's, yeah, it's, I don't know what it's called, but I think we're kind of mm. like that. And without one of those pieces, the entire thing won't work. He's the key to all of this. And I'm going to prove it and end it. B is so fearless. She really comes across like a natural born leader. But where do you think that bravery comes from? Why do you think she has this responsibility to lead this group? Oh, that's a good question. I think B finds her strength from the the need to protect and do right by her little sister Jessie and also the people around her that her chosen family I think when you have something that you cannot absolutely cannot lose you will do everything that you can to fight for it and to protect it and I think if it was just for her I don't think she would run into these things but because it's for Jessie she she will do anything um, and I really love that that is at the forefront of this and that kind of selflessness um, an awareness of we've got to do this for each other. Someone has opened a rip. The barrier between our world and the next. This show has a little bit of everything. Suspense, mystery, supernatural elements, horror, and even some romance. Why do you think viewers will love this show? Yeah, I think it has everything you've just described. I think there's so many different genres and themes in this show that uh, it's going to be hopefully accessible to a lot of a variety of uh, age ranges and a variety of audiences. I think there's something in there for everyone. And even though there's this crazy supernatural world going on, the sort of relationships that the Irregulars have with each other are very real and very authentic and grounded, which hopefully people can at home empathize with and connect with and get behind the show. I think watching people kind of grow and accept themselves, all of our characters go on these journeys and learn to just accept who they are and to not want to change that and to harness that into something quite powerful. And hopefully people will kind of take a little bit of, not inspiration, but kind of reassurance from saying that being you is absolutely okay. I do. I said that as I shook my head. I meant absolutely okay. <laughs>